YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Alex Jr., and I'm back with another fragrance video. So, my good family, hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy and positive vibes, man. I hope everyone is experiencing that. Even if you're going through a tough time right now, still sending those positive vibes your way, man. And, um, you know, hopefully things turn around very, very quickly. All right. So we are back for part two of my Valentine's series. So we have Valentine's Day, which is already out. And that was more dedicated towards people who really spend the day together during the day, the morning, uh, late mornings, afternoons, earlier afternoons, that type of vibe. Um, those fragrances are going to be ones I will be considering and recommend for you to wear during Valentine's Day. Now, this one is for the freaks. <laughs> this one is for the very detailed or super romanticized fantasies that those may be creating for their you know, significant other, love interest crushed, or what have you, all right? And all seven of these are ultra seductive and sexy and definitely can assist, can assist in making Valentine's night a very, very memorable one for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Up first, from the house of Kajal, this is a very, very, I wanna call it hype, but very respected and talked about highly style of a fragrance we have from Kajal, we have Lamar. This is exceptional perfumery here. The pineapple, saffron, rose combination here. It's so good, man. This is such a sweet and spicy and floral take, but it is, it is, it, <laughs> it is almost mesmerizing at the smell of this thing, man. It's almost mesmerizing for sure. It is mesmerizing. This stuff is ultra sexy and unique. Um, I personally love it. And for a Valentine's night type of theme or situation that you are in, and this is unisex. So ladies, this goes for you too. You know, wearing this with your ensemble or how you are presenting yourself could definitely um, cre help create that magical evening, magical night that you are in search for. This is a good one for sure, y'all. Very sexy, seductive style of a fragrance from the house of Kajal. We have Lamar. We have Lamar. All right, beautiful bottle as well. Up next, man, uh, I, I spoke about it a lot, how the note of honey is just one of those for me, very aphrodisiac-like um, effect on me uh, in the world of fragrances and in real life. Honey is just one of those things for me, and this is done right. This has overtaken my previous favorite honey fragrance and this is now number one sexy stuff from the house of Zaharov we have signature oral beautiful bottle beautiful presentation but that's just the beginning the the fragrance itself is a gourmand masterpiece and I'm not even the biggest gourmand guy I used to be into them but not as much but this is different this is a very realistic raw unfiltered honey um, has a bit of an animal animalistic style animalic hey animalic side to it a little spicy there's a, a, a creaminess that is so realistic man a nutty <sighs> fellas 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 if you are well put together and you are really trying to make that type of serious impression on Valentine's night you want to be unforgettable with with all you all with how you plan the date, whatever you got for Valentine's Day, the just the night in general. But this right here might be the most long-lasting impression of the night because of the smell. Smells do that. Fragrances can do that. This is good for Valentine's night from the house of Zaharoff Signature Oral. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. All right, up next, we gotta, gotta, we gotta go to a staple. This is just a staple. I probably have this in every Valentine's night theme video as long as I do them, but this is just one of the ones for me personally, but I had to put it on the list because I know a lot of you love it as well. From the house of Paco Rabanne, we have one million lucky. One million lucky. Another honey fragrance, honey, plum, 
Uh, there's a hazelnut in here. Uh, uh, there's a, a, a unique freshness to it as well. Kind of like an aldehydic vibe. This is really, really, really good. Ultra sexy, flattering. Um, this is something that is just flat out attractive. It's attractive, but it has a, a fun touch to it. You know, it has a fun touch to it. Makes you a little bit exciting, brightens you up a little bit, um, especially for a Valentine's night, especially if you're just chilling. Let's say your date, your, the restaurant y'all may be going to, or if you're even doing something in house, you know, you can just really put your imagination on things when it comes to Valentine's. I know I've done it uh, before and it's worked out <laughs> pretty well. So this is just one of those ones that kind of although it is sexy although it is attractive it definitely presents an element of interest fun interest for sure so from the house of Parker Bond, definitely recommending this for valentine's night we have one million lucky a classic in the community i don't know if it's discontinued or not they say it is then they say it's not then they say it is and they say it's not don't know all right up next another ultra ultra underrated fragrance but it's super sexy as well from the house of Givenchy. <coughs> Givenchy. We have Givenchy, gentlemen. Bozois. Bozois, Bozui, however you want to say it, but this is underrated. You get a beautiful iris in here and a very dark patchouli and a cacao note that gives it this light chocolate feel. It's not too rich, it's not too sweet. It complements the iris in here. The patchouli, uh, either the patchouli is giving it an extra chocolate, but I believe it is patchouli in here, but that's what I get to my nose. But the cacao really, really, really shines. And this stuff is good. This is like designer niche level for me here. It doesn't get talked about a lot in the community, but trust me, if you can get a bottle of this, you're going to be attractive. You are going to be attractive and you're going to smell different. Any one of these that you wear, you're going to smell different and you're going to smell unique. You don't want to smell like potentially last year's Valentine's date with Dior Sauvage or Blue de Chanel or any of the, you know, uh, any of the familiar smells that are out there. They're all good, but they're familiar. This right here will kind of switch up the pace for you. Any one of these will switch up the pace. So just keep this one in mind. Valentine's night could definitely set you up for a memorable evening or memorable night from the house of Givenchy. We have a gentleman, Bozois. Gentlemen, Bozois are very underrated out of collection. Not much conversation about it. All right, up next, this is a scent for the kings. And most kings that I know, including myself, we are very organized individuals. We are on a mission, we're dialed in, and we're not playing around when we are trying to accomplish a goal or a mission. And this, 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 this is a symbol of that. From the house of Latafa, all right? We have Eternal Ood. Eternal Ood. Now this is a direct inspired by a clone of Macy's Francis Kirkchon's Grand Soir. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I like this better than Grand Soir. You get that rich bold vanilla, warm benzoin. There's a, a, a dark fruity plum uh, 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 effect to this fragrance as well. A little bit of a spice lingering around. But when this settles down, warm benzoin. Um, it, it's, it's a sweeter on the sweeter side, but it has some character to it. A lot of character to it as well. And if you are in the the realm of royalty, you deem yourself in that way, or you, your lady may feel that you are in that vein, you might be uh, a little bit interested in seeing what this is all about. Now, this is one of the few Middle Easterns clone fragrances that I know you can sample. They're out there, so don't hesitate. Uh, you got a few days left before Valentine's gets going, and you might can get it in before then. But this is awesome, awesome stuff. And I'm telling you, it'll make a grand impression and have a lasting effect, especially on Valentine's Day, evening, night, whenever. From the House of Latafa, we have an eternal ood. Eternal ood. All right, so let's go down the road to my masculine gentlemen who want to keep the masculine on date. They want to limit the sweetness. I got something for you right here. From the house of Argos, we have Basial and Montal. This is for my fellas who want to keep the mystique. Now hear me out. Beautiful leather style of a scent with a realistic 
fruity and tart raspberry that's blending in with this fragrance throughout its life. This is arguably the best in the line for me personally. For me personally, out of this and Trifle Bonk, is there one or two or two or one, just depends on how the day is going, but this is like that. This gives you your masculine touch that you would like, but also gives you that, that, that sensual, uh, sex appeal with that raspberry and that floral touch that is in here as well. Do not sleep on this. I put a couple of guys on Bastial and Martel and they love it. I love it too. It is competing very heavily with uh, Tom Ford's Ombre Leather as my number one leather scent in my collection. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, ladies love this. They love this, man. I'm telling you, it's a unique blend. So when you hear leather, don't think screechy and old man and grandpa. No, no, no. It is not that. It is something of a unique flair. Probably the most, not the most unique DNA in this lineup, but definitely up there with rankings one or two, one or the other. This is like that for all my masculine fellas who want to keep that mystique and keep it going and don't want to really veer off that path. Look into this. From the house of Argos, we have Basial and Mortal. This is a special fragrance, y'all. Special fragrance for sure. And last but not least, we're going to go more on the gourmand side, more on the unisex side. Uh, fellas, ladies, this is one to look into. Now, let's say it's Valentine's night and it's date night. Oh, not a date night. It's Valentine's night. Maybe you're just kind of brand new in a relationship or brand new getting to know somebody and it's not that type of serious type of situation for Valentine's night and y'all just really chilling. Maybe y'all going to a lounge, maybe y'all going um, to a bakery or you know, maybe you're going somewhere getting a, a nice dessert and a, a coffee or a hot chocolate because in February it's still cold. Maybe it's just something light, a lot of conversation in the intimate space. This is something that could be, should be considered not talked about a lot anymore in the community, but it's one of those ones. From the house of Maison Margiela, we have Replicas Coffee Break. This is a very interesting fragrance. Now they have the descriptions on here. It says creamy and cozy coffee. That's exactly what it is. It's like a creamy, cozy latte. You get a milk accord in here. Uh, there's a, a, a like a, a, a there's a gourmand aura. That's gonna come around you for sure. So it smells like coffee, uh, uh, not a not a roasted coffee, more on the sweeter side. So the vanilla, the milk uh, accord, no, like that lactonic feel. There's a lavender freshness in here that doesn't overtake. It keeps the gourmand nature of it for sure. But it's really, really good for those intimate settings. And if you want to come off charming, if you want to come off maybe a little bit ravishing, all right, even in the midst of getting to know someone in in a in a in a in a, in a arena and or in a vibe where you're not, it's the pressure's just not like that. You want the vibe to be cool, it's intimate, but you want them to know you ain't playing. From the house of Romeo and Margiela, we have replicas coffee break. Replicas coffee break. All right, Smilga family, so that is it, man. That is Valentine's Night 2024. Those are the seven that I am recommending. They are something special for sure, all different and unique in their very own way. And these are the seven that I'll be recommending for Valentine's Night myself, all right? So let me know down below, what are your recommendations? What do you advise for the Smilga family or someone who's just joining the Smilga family to consider as we get closer and closer to Valentine's? night all right so if you miss valentine's day video it's currently out right now you can watch it after and put them together you got 14 fragrances to kind of do what you want so even though i have valentine's day valentine's night you can really jumble up those 14 fragrances total pick one and i promise you you'll be good for sure but make sure your your beard's good your skin's good make sure you ain't got nothing going up crazy make sure your breath is fresh make sure you dress make sure you fit that energy that you hope to receive back. Hey, <laughs> all right. Y'all have a great uh, Valentine's. Happy Valentine's 2024 for sure. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. And remember what you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back. Positive energy and positive vibes. And of course, black it up, black it down, black it that thing all around. Y'all be cool, be easy, have fun. Not too much fun or just enough fun. <laughs> you decide. <laughs>